die. I cannot wait to find out who wins. Can't wait. So, can we put together a, a, a let's put together an email with just pick screenshots of all of his social media that have a link to Jen.tv. Mm -hmm. Previous ones we've screenshotted and current ones that are still up. Um, and just put that together in an album and mail that. Sounds good. To crime. I'm on it. At GenTV.com and tell them I, we know who leaked it. Uh, it looks to be like it was Ryan Kavanaugh uh, who leaked it. It's still up, by the way. Still up. And it's still the main, main link, primary link on, on Twitter, actually. <laughs> so that's what's going on at, over at Gen. Sounds like it's ready to go, Ryan. 
dude, we're prime. If we want to watch it, I'll pay for it. Just you know what I mean? I'll pay five bucks to watch it. Sure. Absolutely. Well. I think a lot of us would pay five bucks to watch it in the audience. This might be your only chance to recoup, buddy. If not for me, Ryan, nobody would watch. Nobody would care. Nobody would listen. Nobody would know this movie even existed. Nobody. I found a backup of that deleted photo, by the way. The screen cap from the movie. It's right above what Love said. Wait, what is this? That's the Reddit post that was deleted that said, uh, this is a screen cap from the movie. For uh, real? From Skillhouse. Jesus, man. What the fuck's on the phone? Why does it look like Mother Mary? But it looks like Bryce Hall, too. So it just says online research. That's cool. That's cool. I have a similar screen, uh, saver. <laughs> now let me say, I haven't watched it yet, so if that was a meme and that why that person deleted it, I don't know. Right, it may not be true, we don't know. Yeah. yeah. But I can believe it based it on what we've Yeah. It fits with what we've seen. Here is, uh, just one more thing. He's on Wiki Feet, apparently. <laughs> Zero points, man. One point. <laughs> oh, close the gun. Embarrassing. Close the gun. By the way, she's like getting full foot massages. Yeah, we're just yeah. not even. Drake, he came down hard on you, buddy. He said you're embarrassing. I need the max swing. I need the max swing. I need the max swing. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. What do you guys think about that, huh? That was pretty good. Very good, yeah. I'm typing up this email right now. Pretty, pretty good. You ready to get you know? I'm writing it right now. Okay. Could you read the read the body of it? I will still work on it, but so far I have. Uh, to whom it may concern, I have solid evidence of who's leaked the Gen T TV dot com slash Skillhouse onto the internet last week. The account, which seems to be the official Skillhouse Twitter account, has both a direct link to the website, um, as well as a release date listed as February 2024. Right. And then I'm including a screenshot and a link, and then I'm going to also include the information about Ryan's right. personal uh, Instagram account, so right. that it also right. promotes the website. Right. And, um, I mean, I think that that's pretty much a slam dunk. I think that that is going to allow their internal investigation to pinpoint who leaked this. I think we're about to make 50k. I think so too. That'd <laughs> be so awesome. Oh, if there's a case for me to do it, I will soon for that one. He has, he promised the reward. I've heard, I've heard of other instances of that yeah, one. Yeah, he offered the, the reward. Uh, Mike Pillow. Oh, Mike Pillow, that's he right. Was for, he was compelled by a judge to pay. Yeah. That dude, like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. I believe it was five million. Five million bucks. That's awesome. So there you go. That's it. All right, I got to pee, and then we'll get into the main, main story. Into the juice. Brooke, Girl, do we have time? Schofield. Well, we saw well, an hour and ten minutes. We not? It's like 70. Uh, yeah. You don't think 90 like minutes it. is enough time? An hour and a half? 90 minutes. Okay. Well, I'm, this is a, I, I'm asking. Um, you you know it better than any of us. I it's mean, it be. really depends how how much. Well, let's try. Let's yeah, try. let's try. Let's try. Ninety minutes. I think. Okay. All right. I just got to pee, and then we'll uh, I'll come back and we'll we'll get we'll get right on into that, eh? Right on. Okay. Get into it. Very cool. We figured out a potential solution for navigating the PowerPoint, so hopefully that helps. I'm not navigating today. That also helps. Are you referring to what we're doing today? Yeah. Just having <laughs> having a mouse. <laughs> it helps. So you got some advanced tech here. It helps. Um, let me uh, hit some of these donos. Real uh, quick. Real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Real quick. Real quick. One month away. What's in one month? August 11th. August 11th. What's on August 11th? Zach Lewis left the Echo Flex. Yo! Yeah! Dog. You're getting hyped for yourself. I am. Because I gotta be, you know, you gotta hype yourself. How you cheat. Uh, let's 
let's see, let's see. Somebody donated fifty dollars and said donating because Ethan Early. Fifty. Fifty freaking bucks for that. Uh, let's see, twenty dollars from Mario. It was amazing meeting the crew at the Greek. Can't wait for more live shows. Love your friend, Sir Shanks P. Uh, I'm walking too. Oh, shout out. Shout out. There's a lot of people saying they're from the Um Let's see, Katie, check out my collab with Jimmy. Family, family, family. Um, to be honest, I probably won't do that. Not because of you, because um, of Jimmy. Jimmy, me? Um, Why? Well, I'm with some other Jimmy. Um, but anybody wait, else in the it, audience, if you want to check out this Jimmy? Jimmy Beast? Jimmy, Jimmy Beast? Jimmy? This to me. This okay. king. <laughs> um, if you want to check out Katie's collab, go for it. I will not be watching. No hate to Katie. That's probably the video Jimmy sent me. He texted me like three times. He said, AB, you're going to love this one. I don't know why this one. He's never sent me anything else. <laughs> oh, no. He sent me. Oh, I didn't see this. He sent me a meme as well. Not oh, son of a bitch. You talk to Jimmy, you become a boomer. Anyways, yeah, it's a TikTok video. I can't watch it yet. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Lady of the Lake. Oh, actually, <laughs> not reading that one. In fact, I think I banned that person for the Super Chat, so. Bye, Lady of the Lake. Uh, Dylan Bish, $10, please. Uh, you've missed my last 19 consecutive Super Chats. Okay. Uh, today is my 26th birthday, and I'm stuck at home with stupid-ass COVID-19. Please send FUs and hey girlies as many as you can. Peace and love, peace and love. I hope you uh, get over COVID quickly. Thank you, Dylan. Um, Scott, Olivia, Chad, rise up. Rise up. Uh, yeah, we will rise up. All right, Ethan's back. Let's get on with this. We gotta get, get to right, this. Take uh, sure, yeah. So, Olivia's coming. Let me open the PowerPoint. Here she comes. Discussing Brooke Schofield versus Clinton Kane. And you can see that I put versus Clinton Kane in super tiny font Very because small. this is Brooke's story. Okay? Mm. I Clinton, he weighs in. I give I give what he says the time of day. But this is Brooke's story, and we know we're on team Brooke. So <laughs> Next slide. So. These are our players. This is Brooke Schofield. That's Clinton Kane. That's Tana Mojo. That's Zach Sang. What are you saying? The song. Yeah. Zang, the Zach Sang song. Oh. So, this is Brooke Schofield. We've talked about her before. She's the co-host of the Cancelled Podcast with Tana Mojo. Uh, previous drama, we've talked about her on the show. We did a PowerPoint about Matt Rife. Um, she dated him briefly after she dated Clinton Kane, and he was dating a bunch of other girls at the same time. He was treating her super fucked up. And then Brooke and all the other girls that he was dating at the same time got together for at her live show for Cancelled. They took a cute photo. She rocks. It's awesome. Can, um, tea for real tea. Can you jog my memory on what was said about Matt Wright? What was the, What did he say about her? What he was... went on Stiff Socks podcast, mm -hmm. and he said that Audi vaginas disgusted him. Right. Oh, yeah. And that Brooke, was so horrible. Yes. And Brooke was open enough to share with her viewers that he was maybe talking about her, which That's is so really horrible. gross. That is horrific. Yeah. Holy smokes. Fuck that. That's a PowerPoint for a different day. 
for last year day. Okay, so um, fun fact, Matt Reif actually now talks about Brooke and Clinton in his comedy sets. He like t talks about this story I'm about to tell you Who because is? it's so crazy. Matt Reif. So this is about Matt Reif? No, Matt Reif in his comedy sets today We'll talk about how crazy Brooke's relationship with, was with her ex who lied to her Why all the time. Why the fuck would he talk about that? I know, right? That's psycho. I know, Wait, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What right does he have to say shit? He's talking about, he does bits about their... There's a clip of him being like, I dated this girl and her fucking ex-boyfriend did X, Y, and Z. Yeah, but you... Wow. Oh, well, he's... Okay, I see. He's using his relationship with her as a proxy to talk about yeah. what's happening now. Yeah, yeah. And okay. it's like, whatever. Not your story, girl. Not your monkey. Not your monkeys. Not your circuits. Not your monkeys. Not your monkey, girl. Pokey mains in chat. She said, "Loser behavior." Oh my god! Hi, Pokey. I love, I love you. you. <laughs> Happy um, you're here. Okay, next slide. We never picked up the combo about Bachelorette with her, by the way. Right. We she fell through the recently, if I'm not mistaken, according to Reddit post, announced that she's single and ready to do this. So that's what I, okay, I didn't know, if, I, I didn't remember where I heard that, but Pokey, I, listen, I'm so very sorry uh, about the breakup, but uh, if we're going to look at the silver lining. Zero percent success rate. That's what it said on the Reddit. That's just not, I'm just warning her. That's just a Pokey, line. if you weren't aware, zero percent. That is a blatant, hateful lie, dude. <laughs> Okay, so Jeff and Maritza broke up. Uh-huh. Okay? Which puts us at 66.6 .6 repeating. Right, success. but both previous iterations of The Bachelor ended in disaster. Yes, a relationship came out of it, but it Ian, not directly. Yeah. Right. Calling that a disaster? No, but Sam was not a contestant on The Bachelor. It doesn't matter. She, they wouldn't be together if it wasn't for the show. I mean, you know yeah. that to be true. We don't actually know yes, that. Yes, you fucking do. She even says herself she messaged him after she saw that he was looking for love on the back. Yeah, but she might have learned that eventually in some Dude, other you are fashion. such a catastrophic hater, bro. <laughs> <laughs> love works in mysterious ways. 66.666 repeating. You said, I thought Jeff got with that girl. Yeah, not listen, anymore. Listen, it didn't work out. Pokey, the girl lived in... Australia. They gave it a shot. It was a long shot. They it lasted. They tried their best, but ultimately, I mean, listen, it's it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> but, said, uh, so sorry to hear. Not easy. But we'll do better for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do we know who her ex is? Is that public or not? I don't know if no, she, she has an ex. To be honest, I just she was just saying she was single Matt Reif? according to the Reddit post. No, hope not. Wait, sorry, no offense, just a joke. Damn, you did him dirty with that right most picture. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, I I wanted to throw some punches today. Jeez, what the fuck? Silent fighting. Um, this is Clinton Kane. This is most famously Brooke Schofield's ex. This is uh, he's actually known for music. He promotes a lot of his songs on TikTok. That's how he got pretty popular. Um, one of his songs is called Chicken Tendies. That's one of his biggest songs. It was Brooke's favorite before they ever met. She was a fan of him. Um, he's made a lot of music about his mother, his brother, and his father, who all died within one year in 2021. That's horrible. Which is horrendous. That's just a horrific tragedy. Yeah really horrible so like the grammys released an article how clinton kane overcame his trauma like oh wow yeah so he was getting all kinds of kudos for this yes he totally was and we'll get more into that don't worry i'm just introducing right let now. me read the, the, the top okay. part of that just want to see what he's saying let's see uh in one year clinton kane lost three family members but through the grieving he found solace in songs that became his debut album Suddenly, his pain turned into hope. That is an inspiring story. Wow, it wow, is wow, wow. quite that beautiful. Is, that is, wow. Wow. Good I for know. him. What an inspiring young man. I totally agree. I totally Was chicken agree. nuggets about his dead family? Chicken Tendies is, we'll really Indeed. deconstruct it because the lyrics are crazy, but he says. Long diet. Girl, 
you look beautiful in that thing. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm trying what? to make. I remember that's how Jared lost all of his weight, but he's not my inspo, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another person in this story is Zach Sang. He's an interviewer. He's interviewed people the likes of Ariana Grande, BTS, Selena Gomez. In this story, he um, interviewed our own Clinton King. We'll talk he about that. BTS. Yeah, bro. That's monster. Wow. Monster. Uh, wonder if they talked about butter. Yeah. I sure hope I'm so. Sure. I wonder that's what they said. About that's it. one of their singles. <laughs> one of the best ones. Butter. Like butter. Butter. This, butter. This butter. Butter. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. So true. So uh, Zach is also at the time of this story friends with both Clinton and Brooke. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so before Brooke put out her huge TikTok series that went super viral detailing the